One of those killed was Melinda Davis, an unhoused woman who was well known among Sacramento's homeless community. A local photographer also came to know Davis. KCRA 3's Melanie Wingo shows us how the photographer met her and how he feels now that she's gone. Four days after Sacramento's worst mass shooting on record, we've learned the names and we've come to know the faces of those killed in an early morning hail of gunfire. Melinda Davis, a 57-year-old unhoused woman, was one of them. She's always just been like pleasant, she finds ways to compliment people. Before she died on the streets where she lived, Sacramento photographer Eddie Navarro met Melinda at the corner of 10th and J Streets. My son, he has long hair, and so she was like, hey, your hair is so beautiful. A few months back, Eddie took his son downtown to practice their photography. They stopped to talk when Melinda extended the kind words. At the end, she was just like, hey, can you, you know, can you take my picture? News of Sunday's shooting rattled Eddie, who grew up in Oak Park. Never seen anything like this ever. When he found out one of the people killed was a woman experiencing homelessness, Eddie and his son combed through their photo files from the day they went out together. I think that's her, you know, and so he got his out and I got mine out and we're going through all our photos and realized, yeah, it was it was Melinda. This is the exact location where Eddie and his son took photographs of Melinda. The sidewalk is closed right now, but Eddie used to walk this path each day on his breaks from work. Having seen Melinda before during his daily walks, Eddie knows he captured her true nature. When you go to take photos, your photos tell a story. And that day that we caught her, you know, it was she was smiling. You know, she was happy. And the spirit of how she felt that day. She felt human and she just wanted to smile. And I think that's what stuck with me the most. His hope now? We're just hoping that um, somebody gives her an honorable and, you know, proper burial that she deserves. Dignity for a human who also called Sacramento home. And that as the lives lost are mourned and held up, He'd like the community to think of Melinda, too. Well, I think it's just important for uh, Melinda just to be remembered. In Sacramento, Melanie Wingo, KCRA 3 News. Eddie Navarro has shared the photo he took and the one his son took of Melinda on his Facebook and Instagram pages. We'll share a link to those pages on our website, kcra.com.